Welcome to the Wheel of Warblocks with your host, me, Monkus. Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. So let's meet our contestants. We got some humans. We're gonna place them right there. There's some elves. We're gonna place them right there. We have some dwarves. We're gonna place them up here. And then the orcs. We're gonna place a couple of them right there. Let's see if the orcs actually make it. They never do it. All right, there's our contestants. So we'll take a look at this. I got a, I got a little wheel here. You couldn't tell. It's a little bit bigger now, but I do have a little wheel. And uh, whenever 50 years hits, it's a little... I'm still going to hit it at 50 years, though. But every 50 years, we're going to spin this wheel. And a little event's going to happen. Just a little one. Okay, maybe not so little, but... Uh, it's going to be interesting, for sure. Every 50 years. So, it's going to come a little bit early this time. Which actually could be bad, since they don't have much population. But, whatever. We'll see we'll see how they deal with it whoever can deal with it is the strongest all right that's official so goodbye to the wheel and i will see you in just a little bit well i really meant just a little bit because we're already back because i want to you know before before everything goes to crap i want to introduce you to everyone so we got a Masamu, leader of the humans right now who we got for the the, the tonop we got us actually what are the humans aga all right we got the spears of paul Interesting name with Deg and Rima leading the charge. We got Na the okay I, Naui lands Naua lands with Amlara, the Elven King. So it's already it's already fifty years, so you, you know what that means. Let's just spin a spin a nice little wheel here. All right, you ready? All right, watch it go, watch it go. Oh crap, I should probably. Oh, already Le Bomba. Holy crap! Well, that is just lay bombs i didn't i guess i didn't really make it so uh well let's just let's just do it all right i'm, I'm not gonna do too many since they just started but just a little bit of bombs everywhere focused mainly on their cities just a little bit of grenades not gonna do like nukes or anything well maybe we should do some napalm just a little bit of napalm no biggie all right you know that's their first thing that's their first little event not too bad not too Oh my god, I had the wheel in the way the entire time. Oh my lord. Well, that's my bad. Okay. Next time I won't have it. Okay, in front. That's my bad. That's my B. My B. All right. Okay, I just left. It. Okay. Or, or uh, what's what's even going on? What's is? Do we have the history on? Is anyone even at war? Or can they declare war? They can't. Oh, I have to make sure to turn off rebellions. That was close. Don't want them all rebelling. We got to see who's the best here. Dwarves. Elves, humans. Oh, Aga's dead. Or the king of Aga is dead. We have Etifuki now. I assume. I assume. No. They actually somehow survive. Oh, but he's burned. Holy crap. That's a that's a that's a fat rip. Alright. Maybe fifty no, fifty years is good. They're already rebuilding. Now they just gonna have to declare war and we're gonna see who wins. The elves are kinda on their own. They I did give them a slight advantage, so maybe we'll punish them a bit harder, you know, with the wheel spins. To make up for it a little bit, you know, just a little bit. But uh, only fifteen more years to go. I'll let you know if anything happens in between just ten years. World age is ninety nine and counting, and when it hits one hundred, you know what that means. It's there. Let's spin the wheel. We gotta hurry. Spin the wheel. What do we got? What do we got? Oh. It's one of my personal favorites that I created. Uh, plants vs. Zombies. Just a little bit of, um... Just a little bit of zombies and plants, you know what I'm saying? Oop, that is the wrong one. I was gonna say, you know, let's just turn on... I'm just gonna turn on the burger here. Get this enough. We hit that enough, we get the fast spawn on. When we get the fast spawn on, we can actually do some zombies. So, here's some zombies over here. We're gonna have some zombies right here. Some zombies right here. And some zombies right here. And uh, for the plants versus zombies, you know, we're just gonna re we're gonna make some trees sentient. You know what I'm saying? I I might be doing a little bit too much, but you know, it's plants versus zombies. What can you say? Uh, actually, they might. Everyone just might die. I might have made a mistake. Cause everyone just might die. Actually, I'm not sure how powerful the trees are. Oh, I gotta slow this down. Hold up, hold up, boys. The wheel is out of the way. Okay, yeah, the wheel is out of the way. There, there's a the giant horde of zombies getting killed by the orcs. I I think the infection does spread though. Yeah, yeah, the king has the infection. They're gonna be dealing with that for a while. 
the humans still dealing with some with some plants and zombies i think the plants and zombies actually fight each other they do <laughs> that's pretty good oh look at all these look at all these plants it's a pea shooter wait are the elves chill with the sentient trees that was just a failure i wanted to make it tough but i guess that that's an advantage they have is they whisper with the trees you know what i respect it i guess how tanky are these trees 330 l holy crap the archers are going into it though you would think they wouldn't be effective oh there's so many trees right there there we go i think that helped them a little bit actually everyone survived i was not expecting that i was expecting honestly i thought people would die i thought it went too hard but maybe i didn't go hard enough well, lesson learned for next time. Also, this island is our little gold export island, if anyone makes it there. They did lose a couple of villages over here, though, to the trees. But everyone survived the zombies, and uh, it doesn't look like zombies are really doing too much. There's still a few trees wreaking havoc on the dwarves. Wait, did a tree just kill? Yeah, the, the king slayer. Holy crap. That tree's a little epic. The ants. They've risen. They're tired of getting chopped down. Oh my. The doors oh wait the doors actually did get owned really hard the trees just destroyed them oh and the zombies yeah it, i don't think I, I didn't even go especially hard on them it just i guess they were just weak they're actually gonna lose over here to the zombies that's just sad there's so many trees here though the orcs are just sh oh, they're running away oh killed one last orc before he died that village is gone this village is closely gonna follow it looks like there's only a few more dwarves alive and uh they're getting turned into zombies wait the king is hiding he's hiding behind this tree somehow managing to avoid the zombies oh now they're eating a chicken but we have a little kid oh and the king is running away well you know he really didn't want to save that little kid if the doors can pull back from this, I will be impressed. But there is a zombie chicken on the loose, so I, I'm not too sure they will. Uh, how is everyone doing? Has anyone even declared war? Everyone's been pretty peaceful. I mean, I guess that happens when uh, you have a ton of trees. The elves, they have an advantage. If someone lands on their base, they have a ton of trees who will defend it for them. I, was not, I did not think that'd be an advantage, but uh, here we are, I guess. Is that, that's kind of cool. Speak of it, the doors are actually are. They are recuperating. Uh, looks like all the zombies died to something. Probably one, the orc army. That's what it looks like. But uh, we have, there's a ton of dorky kids now running around. I mean, this guy has been popping out kids left and right, dude. Yeah, these guys have been getting down to business. I'll just say. The, there's still one zombie chicken. Who is laying zombie eggs? Cuckoo goakeka. You know, I'd, you'd think he would infect other chickens, but uh, he's just kind of chilling. He's just one of the boys. Halfway to another prime cataclysmic event. Oh, you know, probably should turn the speed up. That'll make it go a little bit faster. Yeah, that, that'll make it go a little bit faster. I'm really just waiting for them to go to war. The, the humans and the orcs, I'm sure they want to go to war soon. Let's take a look at uh yep negative negative oh oh holy crap yep they really hate each other holy crap they do it is the year 147 and counting the elves they are the first ones to land on the gold export island they have surprisingly not gone to war they hate each other's guts but i think they know it's about to hit them 150 all right let's spin it pop it up boom all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wait, I almost thought it was, oh, Independence Day. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. If you can't guess what this one is, all right. It is a time for a little alien invasion. That's right. So we're gonna do, we're gonna stop. I'm just gonna put a ton of UFOs. Holy crap, I may put a little too much. Um, let's, uh, I'm just gonna, okay, there we go. I think that's more reasonable. I think that's and oh they immediately went for it okay did not think they would be that fast 
Oh, dude, half the aliens actually just went to the elves. The orcs and the humans already dealt with their UFOs because there was only two of them. Uh, but the elves, they are getting boned. There is so many alien UFOs. I mean, there are so many. There is. I'm sorry. How could I? Why do they hate the elves so much? I guess there's still some down here, but the orcs are dealing with it easily. The elves' homeland is just burning to the ground. Everything is on fire. This really is Independence Day. Literally everything is on fire. People are running for their lives. Where are the archers? There's still a few over here, but they're not going down to the other cities that need help the most. Holy crap. They're all just dead. They're all just dying. Odora is looking gone. All the, the gold export is getting hit pretty hard and they don't have anyone to defend it this is what this is what uh oh there goes some more humans oh cr the doors are kind of getting owned not the dwarfs sorry the orcs are getting owned a little bit the doors they they needed this because they were recuperating in the meantime while everyone deals with all these ufos and the elves they were looking pretty far ahead uh but now they aren't looking so hot well it's it's too early to say i guess but uh Things are not going well for them. That is certain. The trees, they cannot help defend against flying UFOs. That is not something they are capable in. I'm gonna speed up a little bit more. Okay, a bit. Now they're just playing together. Now they're just, like the children and the UFOs are just far off together. I don't know what's going on. Are the UFOs chilling over here? There's still a few. Some going over here in Vudad. The orcs, they catch a couple UFOs occasionally. But is it real? They really, yeah, they actually just straight up hate the elves. I don't know what it is. Do they target the archers first? Is that what's going on? You disarm the archers, they can't even kill you and just sit there firing away. Tad lost their port, lost half the houses. Oh, not oh, fauna. What is going on over here? Oh, some orc just straight up got out of there. I would too, buddy. I would too. Dodaka. Oh, it's all going to crap. It is all going to crap. All the doors. There's some orcs over here as well. What? But the doors, they found another village. I'm like, kind of rooting for the doors. They're kind of like an underdog, you know what I'm saying? The UFO, I think, just fell on top of the king's head. Oh no. <laughs> that, was, that was not good. Okay, you know. I was afraid I put too many UFOs, but they seem to handle it. They seem to handle it. Even after I destroyed half of them, I was still afraid to put too many. And I'm glad I destroyed half of them, if I'm being honest here. Because I think if there was even more, they actually would have just all died instantly. But, you know, it seems that I, I don't have to hold back. I don't have to hold back anything. You, civilization is not as fragile as I think it is. Holy crap, the aliens are just ganging up on Tad. I, I have no idea what's going on. The elves keep dropping people over here, but there's no archers to defend. And so these four UFOs have just been constantly just annihilating everyone over here. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I really don't. I'm trying to see if there's any more UFOs around. Uh, it looks like there's only... Yeah, it looks like the only four left are uh, having fun over here. They're just having the time of their lives abducting people and annihilating people with lasers of doom. The classic. Oh, and while I was talking about that, it is year 200. Let us spin the wheel of world box. Are you ready? Ah, oh, perfectly balanced. I wonder which one that one is. Oh, you know, let me make sure to take the wheel away again. I think as you can say, perfectly balanced is all things should be. 733 people. That was a that was a clean one. It shouldn't actually do too much. It shouldn't do too much. You know, just another just another flip. You know what I'm saying? Just a, just a, there we go. You know, not too bad. They'll, they'll repopulate pretty quickly. If uh, I'm really surprised no one's declaring war. I feel like am I doing something wrong over here? They sh they should all hate each other. They should all hate each other. I mean, they do. I guess the humans and the doors are kind of chill. Good for you, I guess. Huh. Just not declaring war. 
I feel like I glitched something out. But maybe they're just peaceful. Maybe they've reformed, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I should turn on rebellions. We'll see. If I turn on rebellions, I wonder if they'll go to war. It's a little experiment. Just a little experiment. Uh, everyone's actually pretty loyal still. For the humans, at least. I don't know. Yeah, the elves are not doing so hot. Okay, I must have done something. I mean, look at this. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. But they aren't at war. They just rebelled, but aren't at war. Okay, I did something wrong. There's something that's wrong. Okay. I guess the doors are two kingdoms now, but... Okay, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I just... I just loaded this world again. Hopefully, they will start to declare war now. But if they don't, maybe... Maybe it's just, it just wasn't meant to be, you know? The doors have two kingdoms now. That's my bad. Uh, but at least they... They're friendly, it looks like. The Arim Shields. Okay, okay, okay. It is the year 247. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel so we can get ready for it when the year comes. It's probably going to hit it by the time it ends. Alright, let's spin the wheel of World Box. Oh, Winter Wonderland. Oh, I like this one. This one should be a little bit fun. Alright, let, uh, let me repair something real quick. Let me prepare. Alright, I'm just going to prepare something. I'll be figured we'd have a little bit of winter fun here so uh, as you can see a uh, little lich palace so uh, there's a little army of snowmen and they're all dying in the water that is my bad my bad g you know okay i'll give them some sand there we go you know make sure they can at least walk around a little bit you know instead of instantly dying there we go there we go now that is a snowman army Oh, and also, you know, it is winter, you know, it's winter time and it's probably around Christmas for them. So, you know, why, why not drop off some presents? Just a few little presents from Santa here. Oh, they look great. It looks like they're loving them. They really are loving them. Holy crap, Santa, you're a little crazy. Oh no, not the Dwarven capital. Oh, oh. Oh no, half the, oh crap, okay, Santa's, Santa's going on a different level, Santa's going on a different level, and there are a lot of snowmen, <laughs> there are a lot of snowmen, when I said I wouldn't hold back anymore, I was being truthful, okay, I'm not holding back any longer, these snowmen are going crazy, and it's just a matter of time before it's another 50 years again, and if these snowmen, they get a little bit farther in, oh no, I don't know if they could be stopped, I mean, you just get perma-frozen. And there's going to be some liches, too. Walking around, beating people up. As you do, as you do. And actually, it also creates a link between the elves and the other continent. The humans, they are huge. But yeah, it just doesn't look like warfare is going to happen. Okay, like, I'm going to try and fix it. Okay, I just made them all declare war and then made them all declare peace at the same time. So I could see if that would maybe fix it somehow. If not, doesn't matter. I'll maybe force them to go to war on one of these. One of these occasions. Just for fun, you know what I'm saying? Just make them angry at everyone. Just make everyone angry at everyone else. Will you be able to stop this Lich Outpost? No. Will you be able to kill all these snowmen? No. Will they kill you and your entire family? Yes. Frosty the snowman is... is going, he's gone a little crazy and he's made clones of himself. They're actually doing some damage. Snowmen aren't that strong. They, uh, they only deal till damage, but they will freeze you if they target you. That's the main, that's the main thing. And while you're frozen, they can all pepper you with snowballs. The Oracle Army should be able to actually reasonably deal with them. Because they hit one person, but they don't hit the rest. So if you go one by one, you die. But if you kind of go as a group, you can, you can kind of destroy them. The Orc, you're getting hit with snowballs, and you don't even care. Well, I guess it is just snowballs. Maybe they just think it's some winter fun. It's just a little, little, little bit of winter fun. Oh, come on. Here's the orc army. Oh, here. Look at that giant orc right there. Oh, the battle of the orcs and the snowmen. They do have a choke point right here. All the orcs are getting frozen. Oh, they're trying to swim across in the ice and the cold snow. But they're all getting frozen as they try to cross. I think the snowmen are just going to destroy them. They don't have a chance at all. And as the, sl the snowmen slowly move outwards gonna be dealing more and more damage towards the civilizations we have here where did these elves come from why are there elves over here 
sure they're enjoying all this gold, though, the elves are. I'm sure that is something they quite love. Well, let's, uh, let's just, let's let the snowmen do their thing. Oh, look at all these, look at the elven capital. It's just falling to snowmen. How is there coal over here? Oh, I think I might have done that on accident. Oh, but the orc army, yep, the orc army stands no chance at all. They stand no chance. There's too many snowmen. Maybe I did put too many snowmen. Nope. I, I don't, I'm not going easy on them anymore. It's not that they'll die instantly anyways, you know? So, they'll still have a chance to see who wins. Alright, we are rapidly approaching 300 years. Let us spin that, baby. The Wheel of World Box. Oh, just another Clint Eastwood movie. Good, good one. That's a good one. I enjoy that one, for sure. I didn't even have the wheel on. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to respin. Mubby, 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 mubby. Alright, there we go. And actually, the same exact outcome. Oh, that is that does not look good. Uh, the key, it did not key too well. Oh, no. But as you can see, it's just another Clint Eastwood movie, okay? Just another one of those. I'm sure they weren't too well produced in the green screen either. So, um, let us, uh, let's see. That that one is just, um, just a little bit, a little bit of bandits. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of bandits. On each island here. And, uh, some right here. And some right here. Just a few. No biggie. And they are all exploding. I cannot tell what's going on. Holy crap, there's so much TNT. Wait, did they all just instantly die over here? Oh, they must have gotten pushed into the water. Huh, you know, they all dealt with them pretty easily. Still some TNT lying around, but uh, not too bad, not too bad. Dude, that guy's hair is wildin'. That guy's hair is wildin' over here. The doors are dealing pretty well. Hmm, you know, not too bad. Yeah, everyone, everyone dealt with it pretty easily. The orcs, uh, they lost quite a bit of territory, though. Humans only lost this small area. The elves only lost this small area. Maybe, uh, maybe I should, maybe I should have thrown a bit more on. I keep, I keep underestimating these guys. I keep underestimating them. I can't, I can't underestimate them any longer. The next one we are doing, it's gonna go extremely hard, okay? It's gonna go extremely hard. Let's just see. And once it hits 350, things are gonna pop. You know what? I'm also going to... All right, 350 years, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing some wars. And these guys are gonna start ha having to fight each other, okay? We've had peace for too long. The snowmen, they've claimed their own territory. Actually, no. Look at that. The orc army is large. You can put a stop to the snow for snowmen force. Snowmen brigade. They're all getting frozen. It's, it's just so many orc popsicles. Look at them all. Orc popsicles. Swimming across the, the frozen river. And he's dead. They, they did quite a bit of damage. But uh, that is their entire army's worth. So that, that's not too good of a trade. That's not too good of a trade. Oh, oh no. Um, you didn't see anything. <laughs> we, uh, we got, a. Uh, oh, we got, um, let's just see. It's 350, so you know what that means. Let's spin the wheel. All right, it's time. It's time to get serious. Oh, mamma mia. Mamma mia. I didn't even show you the wheel. I don't care. It's mamma mia, just so you know. It's mamma mia, which means we got some meatballs. We have some meatballs, but you know, first we should declare war on everyone. We got some Swedish meatballs. So, are you ready for the meatballs? We have war in meatballs. Classic. Alright, now that is what I'm talking about. Now that is some meatballs. They look very good. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not that was just bad accent okay oops okay uh they should all be at war right yeah i believe so they are all at war there we go now that's some fighting or are they fighting yep there they go there they go in the in the in the in the ruins of each city from a meteor shower or meet the bulls someone drop some meet the bulls now that 
this guy wants them. this guy really wants some crabs okay got you know it's not too bad the, the elves they kind of got owned a little bit but they aren't close enough to really do anything the orcs versus humans is going the orcs are kind of down bad oh the orcs are fighting the doors right now they've got a they got they let an army up here all their forces are up here oh, but the humans are about to own them down there oh come on don't do to the, the the doors what did they do to you dude they didn't do anything come on now oh and they're just and they're just slaughtering them all come on the humans come on. you can you can put a stop to them before they killed the dwarves, put a stop to them. Please. Yeah, if, if they don't, if no one declares peace at all, I know the game's glitched, all right? I'll just know it will be. No one declares peace somehow. Wait, did the dwarves actually win that battle? They did. I'm proud of you, dwarves. I really am. I'm proud of you. Humans, they took out that lower city. So it looks like the, the orcs are going to be out of it. Unless they can somehow rebuild because no one's going to finish them off. So, because people might not finish them off. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going back up to five times. The doors, they're going to have to take some time to recover as well. They got pretty hurt. The humans repopulate very quickly. And, I mean, they... The carnage wasn't... Carnage is bad, but... Uh, the speed at which they... They they redo their houses and everything. Um, they have a little outpost up here. Trying to trying to sneak, I see you. I just want the dwarves. They're my favorite, not gonna lie. I'm kinda pulling for the dwarves. I haven't I haven't really been going easy on them though, even though I've been pulling for them. They're still kinda getting owned, if I'm being honest. Okay, well, you know, they're trying their best. Oh come on. Now they now the human arm is going somewhere. They can finish off the orcs. Well, they found the orcs. Yep, and it looks like they're gonna finish them off. We have a hunter with the orcs versus the humans. They're to the left, and we got one there, one there. Okay, okay. Yeah, the orcs didn't stand a chance. They had no one, and there's a massive human army, and there goes a ragazool. Like a ravioli meat. Ragazool. Sounds like. Can I get some more ragazool? So, okay, I'm sorry. That's just bad. All the humans and no dwarves don't do it. You're too weak. You have to recuperate. Don't send your people out. I'll j they're gonna hold they're gonna hold this choke point wise decision the snowman oh the lich castle has been destroyed the snowman they are looking good there's not too many left though it looks like their numbers have finally dwindled down and uh once it hits uh you know what we're gonna I, we're gonna do it every 25 years now we're gonna double it every 25 years so let's just spin again I'll show you the wheel this time instead of accident it's just not showing it there we go there we go are you ready are you ready oh another plants versus zombies all right i think we know what that means all right let's see here all right let us deposit some zombies onto these locations how about a whole horde right here another horde right here another horde right here and uh i guess we'll have to do the trees which it sadly will help the elves but you know, it's, I guess it's just part of the game, okay? Where, where are they at? There we go. There we go. Make the trees come to life. There aren't that many, it doesn't look like. But, uh. Leave. Yep, there we go. All the trees are alive. The boat is alive. Oh, no. The planks in the boat have gone alive. Okay, there's a ton of zombies coming in on Dukawa. The humans, they split the zombie horde apart. Uh, all the zombies in the elves have been di annihilated. There's just so many elven archers. How are the doors doing? Doing okay? Oh, did I not place any zombies up here? Yeah, that's not fair to the doors. I know. I, I know I want them to win, but come on now. I can't be. I can't be too favoritism to them. They are just losing to trees, though. So maybe I shouldn't have had the zombies. <laughs> They're just straight up losing. There's some grass. Oh, no. How are the humans doing? It looks like they're gonna lose. Well, they're not gonna lose totally, but they're losing a lot of people to the zombies. Slash the grass attack, the the wheat attack, not the wheat, anything but the wheat. I want some more wheat? Okay, there we go. <laughs> not the wheat. Imagine, <laughs> sir, 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 our city's under attack. Who's the attacking force? You won't believe it. It's it it it's the wheat. 
Not the wheat. The wheat and the zombies. All right. They do have some. The elves now have some protectors. Some int protectors to help them out. Oh, I gotta make sure it's not 25 years already. Oh, it's getting close. 10 more years. Okay, I actually think the, the doors, they stuck it out. They're barely sticking it out. They're gonna have some zombie infection to deal with, but uh, looks like they're gonna be able to stick this one out. They're gonna deal with some few roaming trees here and there. The humans have lost Jakoa. They've lost Dakua. Oh, they, they have Lawo over here. But uh, they don't have an army for it. They're actually going to lose to the zombies, it looks like. They're dying to the wheat and the zombie combined force attack. It is a devastating attack. Plants and zombies. Not even plants versus zombies. There are so many zombies. Yep, they, the humans, they don't stand a chance. They do, they do not stand a chance. The wheat is protecting the elves. How could the wheat do this? And oh, it's time to spin the wheel again. It is time to spin the wheel. I'm gonna center this right now. Spin the wheel. Oh, strike. Oh, that should be some fun. Just gonna go bowling with the boys. Just a little bit of bowling. All right, let's see. Just a little bit of bowling. Oh, I forgot I have, I forgot fast spawn affected the bowling ball. That, <laughs> Oh, there, that was a lot of bowling balls. Can I just say? Holy crap. And they still are. Oh no, the, not the doors. Oh, it looks like they're gonna... Just the two remaining zombies are gonna polish them off. And this island is completely gone from the doors. It looks like they got invaded by the humans. The humans, they're... They're barely surviving. They're clinging on. Looks like they got rid of the zombie threat. But uh, the elven threat is still pretty big. Uh, looks like all the snowmen are dead too. Oh baby. Yep. Rip the doors. It is now humans and elves. Those are our only two contestants left. Let's see how it ends. Alright, it's time to spin the wheel again. I uh, Let's uh, go spin the wheel. Let's see what we land on. Oh, the exorcist. Ah, the exorcist. That's a, That's a good one. All right, let's uh, let's get some demons up in this place. I'm not, I'm not gonna say that. We're actually gonna have, we're gonna have our little priest here. We're gonna have one priest, but uh, we're also gonna have a ton of demons. So, um, there you go. It's a little demon invasion. And uh, we're just gonna place some demon towers as well. There we go. Nothing like a few little demons to make the day good. You know what I'm saying? Now that is demons. The doors, they're already gone, sadly. So this demon invasion slash exorcism of mass degree will not be going too well. Where are the mages at? Well, or the singular mage. Seen him. You gotta protect your people, bro. You're the you're the priest, and he teleported away somewhere. He's probably just gonna die. What was that explosion? Holy crap. What just exploded? Oh, it probably hit one of the team. The demons probably activated one of the leftover TNT. The elves, they actually just destroy the demons so easily. Oh, dude, the, the humans, they're just going to straight up lose. They're not going to... Oh, the elves, they're invading as well. Demons plus elves? What can you do? Yeah, it looks like the elves are going to win this one. They they did get kind of lucky. Not going to not gonna lie, they did get kind of lucky. Let's just say, uh, turns out Plants vs. Zombies is pretty beneficial for them. The White Mage is sitting there doing exactly nothing. But I guess it's not over till it's over, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and it's time to roll the, the spin again. Uh, hold on. Oh, oh SCP-049, uh, which is a little representation of the plague. So let's just throw a little bit of the plague on here. Just a little bit of the plague. No biggie. Just a little bit of the plague. Hopefully, it might just polish these guys off, but it could, maybe it'll help them just die off faster so they don't have to live in agony. Because that, that would be a big help for them, I'm sure. I just say, how are the humans surviving? I mean, it's time to roll the wheel again, but how are they surviving still? Oh, perfectly balanced. Actually, this one could, this one could go either way. I, uh, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's flip it. Where is it? Where is it at? There we go. It actually kind of owns the humans. Oh, there goes that village. 
Like, how are they surviving? They have one little outpost down here, and they have a small little village right there. The elves. Holy crap. Oh, wait. The elves. Their population is not looking hot. I think the plague has been doing some damage. Uh, are these guys all immune? How is that child already immune? It's a little wild. Oh, there goes that. There goes, there goes that town. We only have the small little place of Vodod down here. There's a last human bastion. All the elves have been totally destroyed on their little golden output. To be fair, I don't think there's like any gold there anymore. Because of the, the, the bowling balls and the meteors. So, oh, there goes that city. The elves, they're dying to the plague. In like masses. They were not ready for the plague. Oh, and it's time to... Holy crap, it's time to roll the wheel again. Oh crap, let me get it. Let's see what it is. Perfectly balanced again. Okay then. I guess, uh... I guess we gotta throw the coin. There we go. That hurt the elves off quite a bit. It looks like the city's gonna die because of that one. The capital actually is gonna... Maybe. It depends. Oh, no, the kid doesn't have the plague, so... It might survive for now. Until he grows up. But, uh, it is... It's not looking hot. Okay, we have a little... We actually have a... The elves did finally find this little... Last place of Odot and the humans. They are out. The elves, they have won. So, you know what? Let's just spin it. And, uh... Let's see what they're gonna die to. Another perfectly balanced. Well, that is... <laughs> that is so many times in a row, okay? Let's, let's just flip it till they all die. There we go. And that's what they died to. Well, thank you for watching. We did much love and uh, have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you are. And I will see you next time.